Hey folks, it's Pat here. Got a question on a chapter 15 problem, which is chi-square goodness of fit tests. Um, there's a couple problems that unlock this one. So you have to do the expected frequencies one and then the chi-square distribution back in chapter 7. And once you get those two, it usually unlocks this one for you, which is pretty straightforward to uh, sort out. Um, so we're going to use a new test statistic today that's chi-square. And we use chi-square and uh, goodness of fit test to see if our model um, actually matches the expected frequencies. And so if our expected frequencies are way far away from our observed frequencies, then we have a model that just it just doesn't fit. And so we use this a lot later down the road when we do regressions in the next class and stuff like that. But um, for here, you just get a little taste of it. And so uh, the chi-square to statistic is really easy to calculate and so if you get this one just uh, go ahead and knock it out as fast as you can because it doesn't take that long and so the problem you know blah 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 stuff like this but it always gives you this table here and you have to figure out fill out the expected frequency and then you have to calculate the statistic for each category all right um, very easy to do so in this case here um, we're gonna take whatever our expected frequency is and multiply it by our, our total and so it's always the proportion of what we expect it to be to be multiplied by the total which will give us our value right here okay and so this one here um, sometimes it gives you a table up here and sometimes it just says it in the problem what the expected frequency that each a b and c d d is equally likely to be the correct answer and so this would be evenly distributed amongst all of these okay and so it's going to be 125 for each one of these so this one's actually pretty easy you don't have to do any math on this one so you would expect all these to be 125 if we expected them to be evenly distributed amongst all of them and then to figure out the statistic down here it's really straightforward you just take this subtract this square those two and then divide it by this and so frequency observed minus frequency expected squared that all over frequency expected it's kind of cool they give you the formula right here so but yeah it's a little tricky in the Alex calculator well it's not too bad you just have to remember to do these in parentheses so 132 minus 125 close parentheses square that and then divide it by whatever the expected frequency is, 125. There we go. So that's our statistic here, 0 0.392. And then we'll do the same thing over here. So open parenthesis, 123 minus 125, close parenthesis, square that, and then divide it by uh, 125. There we go. So 0 0.032. Okay, and so then we can move on down to the problem here. The type of test statistic is always going to be chi-square in these, and your degrees of freedom is going to be the number of categories that you have minus one. So you should get the hint on that one by now. All right, so value of the test statistic, chi-square is the easiest one. All you do is add all these up, okay? You can add them up individually, or you can use the sum key here, but you still got to punch them in. 1, 3, 9, 2, comma, and so this one, 2.048, comma, 3.528 comma and then 0 0.032 close parenthesis up oh, I guess you don't have to do the close parenthesis enter there we go there's our test statistic and so that is 5.994 this one here is asking for the p-value so p-value is really straightforward on chi-square it's always going to be the same direction look up and so just punch it in there directly with three degrees of freedom and you get our p-value which is dot zero dot one one two Okay, three decimal places. Can we reject the hypothesis? Well, we need our, our .05 level of significance since this is greater than that. No, we cannot. Okay, and check. Ta-da! All right, let's do one more here, see if we get one with the table. Um, nope, we're not getting one with a table, so this is exactly like the last one. Birthdays are equally likely, and so these are all going to be the same here in our expected frequency. 37.50, 37.50, and then again, to figure out the statistic on each one of these, open parenthesis, take your, expect, your observed frequency, subtract your expected frequency, and yes, these can the expected frequencies can be decimals, okay? So the observed frequencies would not be, so, but the uh, expected frequencies would be. And then just divide that by the expected frequency. There we go. 2.9494. Same thing on this one. Clear this out. Open parenthesis, 47 minus 37.5. Close parenthesis, square that, and then divide it by the expected frequency 37.5 there we go we got our statistic on that one 2.4 uh, 1 okay add all these up so sum uh, 2.94 comma 
0.807 comma 1.127 comma and 2.41. Close, oh, don't need close parentheses on. There we go. Just adding all those up. That is our chi squared statistic right there. So that is 7.284. Okay, we're going to do chi square on this one. One, two, three, four categories. So degrees of freedom is three. Value, critical value. So same thing. Just do the crit table lookup on this one. So this one, it's good that we got this one because this is crit table. And so using our critical value. So in this one, we just enter our level of significance right here with the number of degrees of freedom, which is three. Bam, there we go. So 6.251. Okay, and can we reject a hypothesis? This is greater than this, so no, we cannot. So think about that. Chi-square goes like this. Our crit value is here, okay? But our test statistic, oh no, our test statistic is greater than our crit value. So yes, I almost made a mistake there. There we go. So yes, since the, the, the test statistic is greater than the crit value on this one, we can reject the null hypothesis that they are equally likely. And so they are obviously not equally likely because we can take a look at these two. They're way lower than those two. All right, so check. There we go. Three in a row. Off we go. So that's chapter 15 problem, chi-square goodness of fit test. Hope that helps. We'll uh, catch you all next time. Take care now.